Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. I've just spent about two hours picking all of the paint off the front bar to give it a repaint. It's had a couple of repairs in its life, which I noticed. One down here, there's a lot of silicon and some of the paint's hard to get off. And then also on this side, someone's put some primer or something and really made the paint hard to get off. So I figured I'm just gonna leave that on the paint there. I'm just gonna give it a sand with 800 grit. Um, any normal person would have taken the front bar off to do this, it actually took me a while. I couldn't be bothered kind of breaking clips and figuring out how to do it and just wanted to leave it on. But if I knew it was gonna take that long, I would have probably taken it off. Right now, the weather is perfect for cut and polishing. Direct sunlight is gone. I have not finished the car. Do you remember in the last episode, we did this back quarter panel here, but we haven't done the doors the roof or this side of the bonnet and the whole other side of the car. So I thought I'd give that a hit now. So here is a quick shot of the panel I just did compared to this. Now I'm gonna do this part with that compared to the door. Now watch, I'll do the door and then with the difference. Have a look now, the difference in that. No rust spot. So much better. So now that I've buffed and cut and polished the bonnet, I'm gonna go along with the paint that I got mixed up, spray some into the lid, then use this fine paintbrush to just go along, dab a bit of paint in each of the chips. So it got really dark and I decided to pack it up. Here we are the next morning. It's been raining a little bit, but as you can see, the chips are nowhere near as more in your face. There's a couple of dints here that actually stand out pretty bad. This one and that one. I'm gonna see if I can knock them out. So the dent is right there and the back of it we can't actually get to not going to happen it's raining again it was not it stopped like it was raining this morning and then i came out to do some work and i'm like nah it's raining go back in started doing some work oh it stopped raining i'll go out and work on the car as soon as i come back out awesome i reckon i'm just gonna put a mini hole here just enough for that to go in and then i can get in there and kind of pop 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 pry it Pry it up, pry it up, pry it up. Probably need the hole to be back a bit. So I've created like a tiny little hole. Not gonna happen. So I forgot to mention that I went and picked up a starter motor and got that in. So it's working again. The other one fell out. Let's give it a, give it a run and see how she sounds. Pretty sure that's on. It's on petrol now. It's chucking on gas. Oh, now it's running better. Mate, she's rocking. I've just put the lights on to see if they work, and it looks like both tail lights are working. Go check out the front, see if the headlights are working. Headlights are working. Oh, that is yellow supreme right there. Let's put the hazards on, see if they work. Wipers work, wiper washer doesn't work. Indicators, indicators both working. Check the back out, both indicators working. You got little side indicators. So now I'm gonna head on down to Autobahn and go get some Sikaflex or some glue or something to put these side strips back on because they really stand out being off. Let's do that. Take the XR6, left the window open, great. Oh, 
All right, so my Autobahn. Gonna go get my stuff now. All right, so I've picked up some Sikaflex 227, which should be good for what I wanna do. And I also got some Meguiar's Supreme High Gloss Protection. All right, so let's get these doll molds out and have a look. Definitely warped. I almost feel like if I just sanded that down with 1000 grit and then just buff it, probably come up good. They need a good clean. I've also got to take the um, the old tape off too. So let's go do that. Lucid dreams, so I can't be out here living stupid. I love hard, so you could say I was shot by Cupid. Say less, but every now and then I drop my two cents. Tunnel vision could could really be a nuisance. I so yeah, you know we be the movement. Don't ask what we doing, just know we always keep it moving. Watch out for intruders, still a student to the game You don't see me rocking chains, cause I think that is lame When my brother's getting slain from the police Blood stains leaking on the concrete All my aunties always want me to stay up off the street Cause he's tucking heat, yeah the feeling of defeat And um... So if you guys haven't already, you need to check out the E-Series Owners Club ESOC You can go to eseries.com.au and check them out they have events every single year after COVID. Uh, we go on car cruises, have barbecues and stuff like that. So check out the link and join up if you have an E-Series because it's heaps of fun and the more the merrier. Yeah, yeah, we got it. We got them. Here they are. Let's pop them on. Mommy go e i e i how Nelly say it. Uh oh, uh oh, this flow here cut throw. I just reload while they upload. Tell them that merch coming in by the truck load. Gotta do this to the utmost. Run it up like Usain till they unbolt. You won't really learn till you sit down, be humble. So I've just been down to Sunbury Auto Attire pick up my brother's EB Fairmont that he just got a roadworthy done on. Give you guys a look at this 120,000 kilometer original beast. Camera died, so I just thought I'd get a quick phone footage of the front bar. We just painted up. So yeah, just quick job in the front yard. Yeah, <laughs> just use the can to do it. This is super satisfying. This part. It's got a few little cracks and stuff in it, but. Bit of a hit here. I reckon we redo this grey at some point. As you can see, it's got like all these where we now be. I'm happy with that. Hey, so much better than where it came from. All right, so we've had the car for exactly a week. We've painted the front bar. We fixed all the chips and stuff in the bonnet. It's not perfect, but it does look better. Front bar is looking so much better I and mean, there's still imperfections and stuff it is a 32 year old car i want to redo the gray parts eventually but i didn't get around to that thank you to james from the e-series owners club for helping me out with these rims he saw the video last week and reached out to me and said he's got some snowflakes which if you got an s pack you got out the snowflakes side strips are on um, there's still a lot of yeah little rusty things I need to attend to. They're gonna take a bit more time. I haven't fully finished cutting and polishing the car, so these doors aren't done, the roof's not done, but yeah, the bonnet is, which I've mentioned a thousand times. The rear bar's still kind of dirty under there. See the boot lid's looking so much a lot better. And yeah, much better stance with these snowflakes on there. They stick out so much more, which, you know, gives it that nicer look. <laughs> there's all like cutting compounds all over the car, which I have to clean up. The back still needs heaps of work, like this garnish and the rear bar touch-ups. I've actually got the Mr. Black box from Bowden's own, I think it is. And it actually restores all of the black parts of the car. I think I actually tried a tiny bit here. So yeah, that's gonna restore all the black parts in the car and the handles. 
But yeah, pretty happy with how far it's come. I've been looking around on Marketplace and I found myself new seats for the inside. You know how the seats are ripped. And I'm also getting the red 3.9 badges that go here. Started picking at that too. That's gonna be a bit of a job, that one. But yeah, these small ones here should be pretty easy. I'll just do a bit of a Band-Aid fix to get it on the road and then, yeah, so here we go. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with how far it's come. I also got, yeah, the dent puller, which I'm gonna have a bit more of a go at and um, hopefully get some of these little dints out. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Oh, here's a quick look at my AU XR6. So I'm actually gonna be putting this up for sale soon. I had it up on Marketplace for a little bit, but too many time wasters. And everyone trying to swap me BA Falcons, which I've already got a BF, so we don't need that. But yeah, gonna be chucking this up on car sales. If any of you are keen on a BF, I mean an AU, XR6, this thing's clean. Like, so we've got a few little imperfections and stuff but yeah tinted windows 20 inch simmons on there i've still got the stock rims as well but yeah let me know if you want an aux r6 hit me up